Ciao ragazzi, I'm Danilo and welcome back to another video. A couple of weeks ago I made a video where I bought and tried the cheapest Les Paul type guitar I could find on Amazon and it was the Donner Les Paul type guitar. I will leave you a link up here in case you wanna check it out. Well, today I wanna check out the Telecaster model, always by Donner, that costs around 120 euros. So it is even cheaper compared to the Les Paul. In case you're interested in checking it out, I will leave a link down in the description below. There is also a white and a sunburst one. The main question here is, how good can it be a guitar that costs only 100 euros? And how much of a difference there is with my Fender Telecaster that costs around 20 times as much? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's unbox it. Well, there she is. Let's keep in mind that it comes with a cable, a strap and a gig bag. There are not a lot of cheap guitars that have a gig bag included, so that's really cool. The guitar features a poplar body, maple neck and perilla fingerboard. It also has a nice weight to it. It weighs more than my Fender Telecaster. We have the classic Telecaster pickup configuration here, so we have two single coils and a three-way toggle switch. C-shape neck profile and donor branded tuners, which are, which are okay, they do their job. Also, I think it's very important to notice that the guitar already came in with a decent setup. The action is not bad and it stays pretty much in tune already. The only thing I did was to condition the fretboard because it was a bit dry. So I used this Daddario fingerboard conditioner and it is already much better. The main question you may be wondering now is, how does it compare to the Fender? This is my Fender Telecaster American Original 60s and it costs around 1800 euros. So let's just keep in mind that this guitar costs almost 20 times as much as the Donner. Let's hear how much of a difference there is. So what do you think? Could you justify such a big price difference based on how they sound? Maybe yes, or absolutely not. Let me know your opinion in the comments. Which one would you actually buy? I don't want to influence your judgement on this one, but here's what I think in conclusion about the Donner. It is a solid guitar and, most importantly, a solid choice for the price. I doubt you will find even cheaper guitars that are better built than this one. 
It's perfect if you're a beginner, for example, or if you want a guitar for rehearsal, or if you are into crazy modes and stuff, this is a great starting point. In conclusion, if you are tight on budget or just looking for a very cheap and fun guitar to play, I'd really recommend this. Okay, that was it for today's video. Let me know in the comments your thoughts, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!